Hey guys, Shelby from Big Cat Creative here, and in this video, we are going to go over step-by-step -step how to connect your Instagram account directly to your Squarespace website. So connecting your Instagram account is a little bit different than just linking it as an icon because you're required to actually log into your account via Squarespace to provide a whole different level of access that allows them to pull in your content from the Instagram platform. We highly recommend connecting your Instagram account if you have one so that you can make full use of Squarespace's amazing Instagram block to display your feed just like these examples. And doing that is super easy. So you'll wanna head to settings, third-party tools, and then connected accounts. You can also always click the slash on your keyboard and type in whatever it is you're looking for and you'll be brought directly there. From here, you can click connect account and follow the prompts to log in and authorize the social media account of your choice. If you have connected your Instagram account to your website, you can then go ahead and add your Instagram feed via the Instagram block. To do so, you'll click on edit and then scroll to the section where you want to display your Instagram feed. In the top left corner of that section, you can click on add block, and then in the search bar, we'll type in Instagram and click on the Instagram option. This block is going to pop up and probably look a little bit wonky at first, but don't worry, you can always resize it and move it around to wherever you want on the page. I also wanna just quickly note here that I am using the Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine Editor currently. And if you're using Squarespace 7.0 or the Classic Editor, adding this Instagram block might look slightly different. So just keep that in mind. If your Instagram content doesn't automatically show up, don't worry, all you need to do is either double click on the block or click once and then click on the little pencil icon to open up these settings. Under connected accounts, there will be a drop down menu. And if you click on it, you'll be able to choose your connected account from this list. And once you do so, your content should automatically populate into the block. You can then use this slider to determine how many items you would like to show up within the block. Think of an item as a post because we're dealing with Instagram here. Eight items means eight posts. Next, you can click into the design tab to customize things further. You'll have the option to choose between some different layouts, all which will display your feed in a slightly different way. The slideshow layout will present one main photo and then the other photos in your feed can be automatically clicked through or put on a timer. For this option, you can choose if you want to automatically transition between the slides and how many seconds you want to be between each transition. You can choose whether or not you want to show next and previous arrow controls. You can choose to have Squarespace automatically crop the images to fill up the entire block or not. And you can also choose to show or not show the thumbnails at the bottom of the slideshow and then select the size that you would like that thumbnail row to be. Below that, you can also select the space distance between those thumbnails and the main image. And last, you can choose whether or not you want to show the caption for the main post. The carousel layout is similar in that it shows your Instagram feed in a horizontal scroller. For this option, you can also choose if you would like your post to be automatically transitioned, and if you choose to have that on, how many seconds will play between each post. And you can choose whether or not you would like to show next and previous arrow controls. The grid layout will show all of your posts at once in a classic grid style. For this option, you can choose the dimensions of your thumbnails or posts and whether or not you would like to have them automatically cropped to fit those dimensions. You can also choose how many thumbnails you want to show per row and the padding between the images. And finally, the stacked layout will show each of your posts stacked on top of each other. And the only thing that you can customize for this layout is whether or not you would like to show the caption for your post. Once you're happy with the changes that you've made here, you can go ahead and click out of that window. And now is your chance to further adjust the size of this block if you'd like. You can click into the block and use the little pointers to adjust the size of things. You can stretch your block to the very edge of the section and even go past that to extend all the way to the end of the entire website page. This is a cool option if you really want to make your Instagram feed stand out on your homepage or anywhere else on your website. As always, when you're happy with the edits and adjustments you've made, be sure to click save before exiting out of editing mode.
And that's it. It is super simple to connect your Instagram and then add your feed to your website. I hope this video was helpful. If you would like more content, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every single week.